I'm Nick Shell with Family Friendly Daddy Blog. I gotta say, I've had a revelation. My eyes have been open this week as far as understanding better how these DNA tests work. You know, why is it that two siblings can take a test from the same company and yet they've got different percentages of different uh, DNA there if they're from the same parents? How does that work? It surely is a flaw of the company that does the test, right? And it's easy to think that way when you first take the test. I, I'm starting to feel no, I do feel, I, I absolutely feel that the company should almost have, no, I want to be more definite than that. The company should have a disclaimer on the box, on the label that say, this test does not represent exactly what percentage you are, but instead a combination of what your parents are. And there's going to be certain genes that are more dominant and they may show up more in you than your sibling. I wish they all said that. They should. It'd be less confusing and I think it'd be better marketing for these companies because it makes it too easy for people to say, well, I took a test through so-and-so and it was no good because it was wrong. I don't think people understand what I'm explaining to you now. And so I made a video about that yesterday and Mike Richards had commented on my video, my heritage DNA test measure dominant genes, not actual percentage of ethnicity. I made that comment as I'm basically trying to, was understanding myself and then he backed me up. And here's what he said, quote, Mike Richards, quote, the various DNA testing slash extracting companies estimate, estimate percentages of ethnicities based on the stories told by the genes inherited by each individual person. Each sibling inherits approximately 50% of their genes from their father and 50% from the mother. But the siblings do not necessarily inherit the same amount of DNA from each ethnicity with the within the parents' ancestry. For example, let's say the father's Irish and Italian, the mother's American, Indian, and African. One child may inherit a high percentage of the Irish and Italian DNA and a low percentage of the African American and vice versa for the other child. Why? Because the percentages of DNA scramble with the conception of each child. That's just the way it works and there are many cases of this phenomenon on record. So, even though the children of parents may be certain ethnicities by blood, does not mean the DNA will reflect equal percentages in that fact. And quote, thank you Mike Richards, I like you. Thank you, you're helping us all. So, after reading that comment, here's, here's the way I want to explain it. Let me, this is the best example I can do to really help myself understand it. Let's pretend that behind me, I took a hundred different colors of Play-Doh, assuming that a hundred type of Play-Dohs exist. I got all the containers, I popped open the lid for each of them. I put on a blindfold, and I just started grabbing a little bit from all the ones I could reach, and I just kind of walk around, until I had you know, a tennis ball size full of Play-Doh. And then with that, I take two other containers, I empty them. So now I've got two empty Play-Doh containers, a ball of Play-Doh that's consisting of several different ones, and I get a plastic knife and I cut that ball in half. I put half of it in one empty container, half of it in the other. You can see where I'm going with this. One is gonna have more red and blue and orange in it. Another might have more purple and pink and dark red and of course each of those countries that uh, are represented in those colors so it can make sense that even though it's from the same batch ultimately <laughs> it's from the same batch it's from the same ultimate sources by the time they show up into the empty container which is the human being that's you and me it makes sense why I can show up one thing on the DNA test and my sister can show up another. Of course, she's taking her test now, so in about a month we'll know how different those genes show up and then in essence, which genes were more dominant as they showed up in my DNA as compared to hers. So for example, when my mom took the test, it showed up that she's 15% Jewish and 14% Middle Eastern. Well, when I took the test, it showed up I was 0% Jewish and 0.8% Middle Eastern, meaning that my Spanish genes are more dominant than the Jewish and Middle Eastern. Chances are my sister's going to take the test and just for example, it could show that she's 5% Jewish and 4% Middle Eastern. It's very likely. And now I'm not going to be confused when that happens because I'll understand the science of it. Thanks to Mike Richards and thanks to so many people who've been leaving comments to help me better understand how these DNA tests work. I'm Nick Shell, Family Friendly Daddy blog. I love talking about these tests. My test was through MyHeritage. Uh, so that's where I went through to do all this. Um, so let me know if you have anything to add to this conversation because I'm open-minded. I like to learn. I wouldn't be making this video if I weren't paying attention to your comments. I like you.